anime isn't seen as something that's a Black thing. People have this idea of what an anime fan is. If it doesn't fit that stereotype, then they don't want to hear it. They were like, oh, letting Black people watch anime was a mistake. White people are no more Japanese than <laughs> I am Japanese, but you don't see that criticism lobbied against white cosplayers. Because of the lack of representation, it makes you feel, as a Black person, even more of an outsider in the outsider community. And so we're like, where do we belong? Prior to this, it was seen as like this group only, but now it's like, I'm proud that I like it and I can be a part of this community. From manga readers to anime lovers, the otakus and the cosplayers, every Black anime fan has had a moment when they realized that the animation style is more than a cartoon. To be an anime fan is something special, but to be a Black anime fan is something almost magical, because the few times you do see yourself in anime or see anime used in Black culture is a moment not many can relate to. For a lot of Black fans growing up, acceptance was also something rare outside and within our own communities. And most of us often needed to hide or silence our love for the medium. Being into anime and games, but also being Black at the same time, it was seen as more so a white and Asian thing. So if you were Black and into those things, you felt ostracized and there wasn't such a big community as there is now. Back in the day as a kid, I was like the only girl watching Dragon Ball Z. Right. Now I feel like it's more open to like use anime references. It's just cooler now <laughs> to right. be a nerd. <laughs> Sailor Moon definitely just like shaped who I am for real. I really identify with, you know, Usagi or Serena. And she's just this kind of like quirky, disorganized, chaotic mess, but she's, you know, a leader at the end of the day and she a bad bitch and that's like who I wanted to be. Be, you yeah, know, like yeah. just someone who is at first afraid, but like finds her, you know, the power in themselves to just take on the world and save the world, you know, and do her things. I feel like in high school, I really felt like I didn't really fit in, like in a certain like clique or group. And watching Naruto really uh, helped me with that because I watched him not fit in with anyone. Like he was just really by himself. I definitely think like that it comes from having certain characteristics wow. and interests stapled to your blackness to the point where if you stray even in the slightest it's automatically invalid just because wow. you're black cosplayers are fans who dress up as their favorite anime characters representation freedom of expression embodying the characters sadly throughout the years black cosplayers have been met with an array of racist comments from non-black fandom online that tell them that they're not allowed to dress as fair-skinned characters, throwing comments towards them. However, while dealing with racist and problematic anime fans in large, many have decided to create safe spaces themselves. Years ago, like cosplay was way more about looking exactly like the character. Like if I know I'm cosplaying a character that's like super blonde or like super white or something, I would definitely be very conscious of like everything that I'm doing and make sure it's like top quality because cosplay isn't about like the color of the character or how right. the character looks. It's literally the character, like the personality and how you look in the photo and just capturing that feeling of the person. So even to this day, there's still some characters I'm just like, ah. Right. <laughs> like, ah, I don't know if I'm ready for those comments because they're gonna come. It's Lilo and Stitch's older sister. Oh, no, looks so cute. Yeah, and I got a lot of flack for that. And then after that, I got really scared to do anybody really of any other descent. At one point, I contemplated deleting my Twitter because I posted a Kakaguri cosplay and I spent literal hours and I was so proud of it. Like two minutes after I posted it, N word this. They were like, oh, letting black people watch anime was a mistake. They called me a because I had my nose pierced. I couldn't believe what I was seeing and it went on for days. They'll call it like accuracy checks essentially where they'll say like, you don't look like this character, but it all really does just boil down to racism. <laughs> Especially with the vast majority of anime characters who are Japanese. The white people are more no more Japanese than, you know, I am Japanese. But right. you don't see that criticism lobbied against, you know, white cosplayers by and large. You just really don't. And then there's the flip side of a lot of white cosplayers doing things like blackface. And then them saying, oh, well, you guys cosplay white characters, so why can't I? We don't lighten our skin to cosplay these characters. Right. We can't lighten our skin to cosplay right. these characters. 
I hate when they pull that. They'd be like, oh, but that person isn't black. Nesico isn't black. She isn't white either. Or when I cosplay Togo with this, they'd be like, her hair isn't like that. I was like, did I ask? Specifically for black women, it's like, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. Like, right. I don't believe that you're interested in this. Right. And it, it became a level of like trying to prove yourself mm -hmm. as, as opposed to acceptance. Cosplay is like, it's an art form. Mm -hmm. You know, they are artists and like artists can reimagine or do things any type of way, but also, yeah. Just because I don't necessarily look exactly like this character doesn't mean this character couldn't exist in a different form. We take a character and kind of add our culture to it too. Yeah, yeah. So it's like cross-cultural here. Right. You know? So you see the Afro puffs and the Marley hair and Marley braids and infuse it with the Japanese culture. Right. And I think it just makes it even cooler. I try to encourage more like black girls and people of color to cosplay like outside of their color, if you get what I'm saying. It's like Every time I would say, hey, who should I cosplay? They always give me Garnet or... Yup. Or Chrome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you understand. Yes. So I'm just like, can you give me other things? And they're like, no, you should stick with the Black characters. I'm like, no, I won't do that. So I tried to go outside of my box just to like push people and be like, hey... I'm doing this. Uh, you can't stop me. The people who are, are against like uh, different race, uh, go, like dressing in, in costumes, is like you, you're going against the characters that have inspired us to even make this happen in the first place. Because it's like Naruto, he fights for equality. He fights for peace. He fights for humanity. People with those type of beliefs and bring that type of negativity, those people don't understand the characters to begin with. There should be more representation in anime for, you know, people of colors, because it's not like we don't watch it. We're right. there. Right. We're definitely tuned in and we're watching. So it's like, why not Addison? We need more characters, not side characters, main characters. Specifically, there's also not many even darker skinned characters. Like most of the black characters in these shows don't pass the paper bag test. What really like grinds my gears personally is when they do give us a dark skinned character and they do the absolute most. Give her huge lips and a huge nose and a huge butt and make her talk like this and make her eat chicken. There's like no in between. And it's like- Sister crone. Sister crone. Oh, I, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I thought about it. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. No, you can say it. Oh my gosh. These writers and directors and mangaka, like they, they know that black people watch their series. They know that we're fans. They see the cosplay. They see the content. Like, so it is important to like want to show your reader that like, hey, I see you seeing yeah. me. Although there has been a lot of pushback for anime lovers, there also have been many progressive strides. Anime has emerged as an important reference point for a new generation of musicians, creatives, and even has entered the streetwear space. This is an actual magic. So this is our like warehouse, actual fantasy factory where we get all our shipping and everything done every day. We went behind the scenes of streetwear brand Hypeland Worldwide with the founder Jordan Bentley to discuss his inspiration behind the brand. Then we have some of our most popular stuff. So we have like the Hunter Hunter puffer jacket for all our anime heads, the yeah. multicolor puffer. Now that goes, then we got like a Naruto puffer jacket and stuff kind of coming out soon. So you can really see, we use this area just to kind of showcase a lot of the samples and things that are coming out for the rest of the year. I remember one morning I woke up, I was like sleeping at my mom's house and I like had a thought, I was like, man, it'd be so cool if I did like a collaboration with like Dragon Ball Z. And I told my mom and she's immediately like, no, don't like make bootleg stuff. Like don't right. do any of this. She's like, let's go like the, the legal route. I got like a rental opportunity from Viz. Viz Media owns like, you know, Shona Jump. Ended up meeting them and then they gave me Bleach as like a collaboration. And that was our like first introduction to like the anime space directly. I was like, why not use my like streetwear knowledge and experience and just like my love for clothes in general and like bring that to the anime space and bring like, you know, anime fans something nicer than you know, the t-shirt with Naruto just in the front. From there, new ideas just kind of kept popping up. We ended up making rugs, tables, like all these just different integrations that kind of mix with my life. People who liked anime weren't necessarily like accepted as like this cool thing until recently. You know, it's cool that Lil Uzi likes anime or like Young Thug wants anime stuff. For people who've been liking anime since, you know, elementary school, it's never that same connotation. So for me, it was like, you know, how can I, you know, embrace my love for anime, right. but not be so loud in the fact that I might be teased or how can I be like confident about this and create stuff that almost gives that, if you know, you know, kind of feeling. 
regardless of your race and ethnicity, where you're from or whatever, that there is this like unifying interest within anime and that people can kind of connect amongst each other based on their interests, regardless of like, you know, skin color, whether you're like male, female, whatever. That's my goal with like the clothes. It's like, how can I connect people and kind of create like some type of dialogue or conversation? We add black culture into everything to make it spicy, you know? In the anime community, there's music videos now and hip hop videos that are like infused with, you know, anime um, opening titles and all that. And it just makes it so much more fun. I was an influence to music in general. It's mainly about like the sounds that I go for, the production. I try to kind of go for like stuff that's upbeat, high energy. Kind of sounds like a Sonic video game kind yeah. of vibe. Like I love that. <laughs> the sound of, uh, I don't know, like, or something like that, right, like right, putting right, that in right. a sample in one of my songs. It's just fun, like being into games and all that leaves that door open for the weirdest kind of things to enter up in a track. You, Thundercat, Meg, all you guys are like molding it into like, you know, kind of your love for this culture, like into, you know what I mean? Like your career completely. And it's like really dope to see. The aesthetic and everything. Yeah, it's, and I mean, I'm grown, but like there's just this small, like little acceptance. You're just like. Oh. You never, I, I just <laughs> you know? told people when they are always surprised about how old I am. I'm like anime, K-pop, and you know, that that keeps me young. Video games, yeah. that stuff keeps me young. And it's like, I, I never want to, lose that element because it was such a large part of me growing up. I spent a yeah. lot of time in my room playing games. I even got my Switch in my bag right now. Like, I, it's, like <laughs> it's a life. It's, it's, it's life. It's important for Black people, Black women to show up in the nerd space because I do feel like it's very cyclical where the more people of color that are participating in nerd culture, the more the creators of this nerd culture will then include those types of characters or hire on creatives for their shows and for their movies so that then kids can see themselves in anime. Whenever I get like a DM from like, you know, support and they're telling me about like how this video has changed their life or it meant so much to them that like I create this video and, and they push me to keep creating more videos. It's like, I never thought that like, what I love doing could make other people happy. I feel like that's the best thing you could do. Just just be yourself. If you're that nerdy kid, you're that nerdy gamer, be that. Put yourself out there because you don't want people to like you for something that you're not. I feel like I wish I like heard some shit like that. Like That's how I felt 20 years ago. It's not even taking up space. It's taking the space we rightfully have. Like right. the space is for everybody. So like, here we are. I'm grateful for where I am right now. I'm grateful for the people that I've met that look like me, that have the same mentality as me with the whole thing with anime, cosplay, reading manga. I thought I was only one, but I'm not, you know? And that's probably someone somewhere else. They think that, oh, I'm probably the only one, but little do you know, there's a big old community that is that's about to burst out <laughs> and show up. The people that I followed like a long time ago were all white because I didn't see any black creators. But then I started seeing more and I was like, I like this. Oh, there's more. I feel appreciated and welcomed. Yeah, I feel included. In I was like, wow, this is, this is what I need. Like, this is home. They're always going to hate us. Don't stop anything because someone's trying to stop you. The only person that can stop you is yourself. And you never know what could be if you if you don't like go for it.